yeah, there's a chance that we get to the end of this and I've done this all completely wrong, but I think I understand. Hello and welcome back to the SIPcast. This is the podcast where me and Samuel talk about anything that's everything. Uh, what's SIP, guys? I thought about trying to say that. You know, like how podcasts like have a certain hook every once in a while. There's yeah. like they say like the same <laughs> thing like to start it, maybe the same thing to end it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was thinking, what's SIP? But also, I like that. Also, I don't know. That sounds kind of dorky. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't care. And I'm going to the problem is I'm going to forget it because I've been I've been saying I'm going to start an episode with that for weeks now and I still haven't. <laughs> so, what's up guys? Uh this is the Sipcast. Uh <laughs> If you're if you're confused what Sip stands for, uh we'll tell you it's stories, interviews and pop culture. We haven't had an interview mm-hmm. in a long time. We promise guys next week we are going to have somebody on here. Uh, we got the details straightened out, and we will have more interviews coming to you soon, we promise. But today we have TV time. Uh, I've been watching quite a bit of TV recently, and I know that Samuel finished a show that he's been watching for a long time. So mm-hmm. we just want to dive headfirst into that. Samuel, tell me about a little show called Narcos Mexico. All right, Jack. So this this show has been a journey, um, specifically a journey I've been on with Austin Berry. Um and uh, we had watched the original Narcos. I'll save that for another time because I'm a big fan of the original Narcos. But um, Narcos Mexico um, kind of follows the story of um, he's I don't man now I can't remember his name. Um, oh yeah, Felix uh, Gallardo, um, and he's like kind of the guy who brought up El Chapo um, and a lot of other people in the cartel in Mexico. Um, and it basically follows him and. Um, the first season follows the DEA agent um, Kiki Camarena, who's played by um, who's who's Luis and Ant Man Jack. Oh man, uh, it's do you know his name? Time. Is it Edward something? Oh, it's, Mi- it's Michael Pena. I think. Michael Pena, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's okay, okay, yeah. He's he's a great actor. He's in the show, um, but it's yeah, it is a wild ride. Um, I've got to say, I finished season two, and I was not a huge fan of the ending of season two. Um, Maybe it'll come back around. I don't know if they're going to make a third season. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, you got some young El Chapo action. Um, just all kinds of things. It Season two definitely took a darker turn. Season one, well, season one was really brutal, too. I don't know. It's it's a mature show, guys. Um, so be prepared for that. It's a lot of drugs and violence and that kind of stuff. But I love that kind of, like, giving life to historical events. Um it's fun just to see, like, I'm a big fan of just seeing, like, these people who've made all this money, but they've done it illegally. And so it's like they're kind of, like, out in the middle of nowhere, but, like, they're also living in luxury. I think that's really fascinating. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think the second season just took a darker turn where it's, like, it really shows the desperation of the drug enforcement agency. Um, they're kind of desperate to capture people um, after kind of a big event in season one i won't spoil it because i think you guys should go watch it Mm. um but they're yeah they're a lot more desperate they make a lot of mistakes along the way Uh, and season two ended kind of at like both the point of like victory and like well maybe it was all for nothing so um it it was kind of a mixed bag of emotions for me because i was like dang (laughs) so uh very different than i was expecting (laughs) you rest assured there will be a season three I think so. I'm not. I'm not certain right now, um, but it's. It definitely seemed like it was kind of setting up for a third season. Uh, and I'm. I'm sure that is it. Is the kind of the plot kind of building up to, kind of El Chapo taking charge and maybe having a season where he's in charge, or do you think it's just the build up and then it'll be over? See, that's what. That's what I don't know. Because right now would be the perfect time for him to kind of take over. Um, so. <clears throat> it could kind of take it or leave it. And that's kind of what it seemed like. I don't know if it's not doing as well as the regular Narcos, but um, I can even research right now. Is is this is this a, uh, is this a nonfiction show or historical f- fiction? I think it's historical fiction. 
um, in the sense that like most of the people are real. I think they've changed some names though. Um, Interesting. Okay, so the, yeah, the I, stories are the stories are real, or they're just based on the characters. That's they're they're real. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like all the drug dealers are real. You can look them up, and like they're all real people but yeah right now netflix hasn't announced if it's getting a third season so it's like yeah i really enjoy it just because there's like that historical element and that kind of other element but um overall guys i think you could have done better on the end of season two <laughs> i think they're listening so uh yeah hopefully they'll definitely. make some adjustments for season three but yeah but but shout out to austin he, he and i have been on that journey together for a long time uh, and i'm thankful for him <clears throat> you know i i just think it's it's one of those shows that's just too brutal for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> also, the episodes are like an hour long. Uh, that is true. Jack is a, Jack is a short episode man. <laughs> I am a, that's, if you've ever wondered why we don't have one podcast a week, a one hour long podcast a week, and we have small bits throughout the week, <laughs> that's why, because I am much more uh, a short bite than a long chew kind of guy, you know? <laughs> What have you been up to this week, Jack? All right. Um, I've actually been watching two shows that came out very recently by the same person. Mm -hmm. uh, I, oh, haven't, okay. I haven't finished the first season of Space Force, so I'll talk about that next week. Um, okay. But Greg Daniels is not just doing Space Force with Steve Carell. He's also doing a show with Amazon Prime, which is called Upload. Uh, I saw a lot of ads okay. for it. Um, they all, all the ads are like from the same person who made The Office, and then everybody's like, "Oh, it's really good." <laughs> so, I thought I would give it a shot. Um, I think the the star's name is like Robbie Amell or something like that. He's he's the younger mm -hmm. brother of the person that plays uh, the Green Arrow in the DC show. Gotcha. Okay. Which huh. I never really got invested in. But it's it's like yeah, a, I, I've never seen any of it. <laughs> it's it's set in the future. There's like self driving cars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I think like twenty years in the future or whatever. Uh, they really play off that for jokes sometimes. Like there was one time they were like, "Let's do some classical. Can you help me teach me some classical dancing?" And it was like they were doing the mm -hmm. they were like doing the dougie and stuff, uh, <laughs> like whipping and nanaing and dabbing whatever there so it's like so it's a comedy yes it's it, it's okay it's a com it's like a comedy drama and then what really intrigues me is there's also a mystery aspect to it so it's also a mystery oh, interesting. uh mm -hmm. season one ended on a big cliffhanger uh and i'm really interesting to see interested to see where season two goes uh i don't i don't i don't want to say too much as i don't want to spoil it the premise of it mm -hmm. is that when you're about to die, they take your consciousness and upload it into like a software. Uh, oh, interesting. And like that's that's like kind of like heaven, I guess they they would call it that. They they call the place heaven, even though it's just like a software. Um, huh. yeah, it's really 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 weird. Um, but I think they play off that. Uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't have like super big star power but it has charm um it's an amazon prime show it's <laughs> it's tvma which i feel like they're making any good entertainment just a little bit too edgy for teenagers <laughs> to watch you know what i mean yeah it's like I it's like everything now is just like it's like you see like a show and it's like oh i i feel like i really would have liked this when i was in high school it's like maybe i'll try it out and then you're like wait why is why did they add this like what's the yeah. point like it's so easy to like make it a little bit more usable for kids. Like I'm watching Space Force mm -hmm. right now, and it's like I feel like if they just wouldn't say the f word every once in a while, it would it would just be TV 14 or whatever, you know? Yeah, and like, then that's why? also Greg Daniels Space yeah. Force. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why? What's the point of yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That is a really odd phenomenon that I've noticed too. <clears throat> I guess it's just because Netflix. Um, I guess most of the shows came out on network TV and they had to deal with the FCC, but on mm -hmm. Netflix, it's like a private privatized streaming platform where, uh, you can put more, I guess, edgy stuff. So it's like not as many barriers you'd have to break through, not as many limits. Right. 
because they really do they they do a ton of censoring on uh i guess i mean if you if you look at like greg daniels made the office uh i guess the office Mm -hmm. if i I feel like if it was on netflix it probably would have been more edgy um you know what mm-hmm. I mean? If they would have made it through there, there are bleep. There, there are bleeps on the office every once in a while. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they're just unbleeped at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been watching Upload. I think it's a really good show. Actually, I would uh, suggest it. Uh, it's really funny. Um, the mystery aspect really, uh, I think, is a really good touch. Just because it kind of mm-hmm. gives um, a lot of thread in between the, you know. A lot of thread in between the episodes there's a love triangle so you know how much we nice. love love triangles in this show <laughs> so if you love a love if you love a love triangle you'll love this show anyways uh thank you so much for listening we'll be back tomorrow samuel's gonna tell us a quick story uh mm-hmm. we're gonna riff about it a little bit and then we're gonna be back on thursday with our big political episode as you know we've had political <laughs> episodes recently and yep. then friday movie minutes will be a little bit more of a debate this time around so Mm -hmm. can't wait to see you then have a good tuesday tv time tuesday